Hey YouTube, thanks for clicking on the Shady 580 channel. So, <clears throat> we've done some different things, some new things. We uh, went and bought a Jeep, got a 2020 Jeep Wrangler. It's the Sport two door. Pretty nice, it's the trail rated package and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure it's still their base model. Doesn't have anything electric in it, like doors or windows. So, we'll just give you a quick run around it. So, <clears throat> When I went and test drove it, well, here we'll start it off. So, Saturday morning, yesterday morning, went to the, uh, started off at the Chevy dealership test drive in. I wanted to get the new half ton diesel, but I had a full size 07 2500 Duramax. It was a four door short bed, and it just became literally too much of a hassle because I wasn't working on the power lines anymore so I didn't really need the full size truck also wasn't pulling my camper anymore so I really didn't need a diesel but uh, I love the power that diesels make it's hot as hell in here so with the power that a diesel makes you know you can do anything you want to it applies to a lot of things and uh, so I went and test drove the half ton with a diesel in it and it was pretty nice and then uh went and test drove the four cylinder turbo the full size chevy which was really nice i think it's actually pretty peppy like surprisingly for it to be such a small outplay the displacement motor but so uh anyways went over to the chrysler place and i went and test drove a couple of the gladiators but they didn't have a manual transmission and the only reason why I chose this Jeep is because it was the only one that they'd give me $3,000 off for not having a manual. The Gladiator and all that, they wouldn't match the rebates or give me a bigger deal. <clears throat> so I got $3,000 off MSRP because I wanted a standard and they didn't have one. So, which I don't need a bigger vehicle anyways. But it would have been nice to start with the Gladiator. We'll move up to that. But, uh... So I got rid of my Duramax and my RV as a trade-in for this Jeep for two reasons. A, it helped me, and B, it's because I no longer work building power lines, so I don't need my camper, and I don't need my truck, or didn't need my truck. And I've never bought anything new, so this is the first new thing I've ever bought. In. So, I like it. Uh, but Saturday morning, showed up. Went to Chevy, then went to, Jeep, to the Jeep place, or to Chrysler. And uh, they were actually unloading this one off of the truck whenever I showed up. So it had one mile on it when I test drove it. People keep walking by. But, uh, so, it had one mile on it. And then we, uh, had a blank moment. Uh, just drove it, did all the paperwork. I left there about 4.30. Uh, right now we're sitting at about 120 miles. So far, so good. That might be the meanest sounding Camara. But uh, we're taking the T-top off, or the, I guess you'll call it a T-top. I haven't taken the back of it off yet. I'm gonna buy a soft top. Um, so I want to do a soft top and I want, of course, we're probably going to, I'm, I'm going to try to be reasonable on the lift on this one. Maybe, probably not. I'm going to try to be reasonable on the lift. Uh, probably try to get to the point to where it probably a decent offset in 35s that camera sounds pretty good but so a little spill of the old jeepster push button start because it's fancy like those rappers cars all the goods yeah, I'm gonna drop this where we can see what's going on here. Oh, 
already averaging better mileage than I got no Duramax. Pretty nice. Pretty casual. I already put seat covers in it. Just cause. Really digging the, the color. Uh, South Point. So, South Point Chrysler in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> so it's all slowly starting to come together. Took it cruising today. Went and looked at lots. Trying to find us a lot to get purchased start building a house or buying a house it's it's different first time I ever did anything for myself I kind of I don't know feels weird but uh definitely want to do the the whole YouTube I want to pick up my YouTube channel give me something to strive for I work a lot less hours I only work 40 hours a week now instead of 80 so it gives me plenty of time to do this and be serious with it and uh, we'll still do some fishing videos here and there I'll, I go fishing with Jalen every once in a while Bay Boy Bassin so but uh, I just want to get into something don't get me wrong I still like to go fishing I love fishing but fishing to me is more relaxing I don't want it to uh, this is, I don't know. It just feels different whenever you have a camera on your chest and you're out there trying to catch fish versus just bobbing around in your kayak and flipping and pitching and having a good day. So, vehicles I feel like would be a better suit for me because I enjoy doing this more towards like customizing and building them. And I'm going to leave fishing to be in my thing that gets me away and out of everything. <laughs> 